So mandated reporting um, and responding to child maltreatment is a training that um, outlines the statutory responsibilities for mandated reporters, and that covers most professionals who work with children are, by law, mandated reporters. And the training would um, provide them some information about the possible signs and symptoms that they would see in children that they're working with, would help outline how to respond to those situations um, and know the proper procedure for reporting those um, suspicious circumstances to Child Protective Services. One of the advantages of having a presenter versus an online training is that most individuals I've encountered have had circumstances where they've really wondered whether contacting Child Protective Services was the right thing to do and have really um, struggled with that decision and having um, a presenter enables them to talk about those case examples and to present the scenarios or the stumbling blocks that they've run into that have prevented them from contacting Child Protective Services directly. At the end of the training, folks should understand what their role uh, as a mandated reporter is. They would understand the potential consequences of failing to report a suspicion of child abuse. They should also be able to um, recognize some potential signs of the various forms of child maltreatment and would know how to respond in a manner that um, is protective of the child. The training um, opportunities are tailored to meet the needs of a variety of providers, so in some circumstances I could go to on site and provide the training um, for groups as large as 50 to 60 people. Um, and for those who prefer, we can also organize the training at our site at our professional development center and provide the training there. For more information on any of these trainings, please feel free to contact Spurwing's Professional Development Center or visit our website at spurwing.org.